Housing, jobs, and job training will all be under one roof in North Nashville. Crossroads is expanding to a new campus for young people off Buckhannon Street. Tonight, Levi Ismail takes an in-depth look into Metro spending on affordable housing and the difference they hope projects like these will make. You don't often see too many projects addressing almost every major concern for the city, which is why we're seeing Mayor John Cooper and Metro investing millions of dollars to affordable housing, knowing we have the evidence to show why it's a priority. At one point, we may have all had a moment where we weren't sure where to turn. I was in a kind of a crazy spot in my life. For Tristan, he found his crossroad and the path has been better ever since. We were healing and we're growing and we're learning new things. And then even years after we've you know, finished our time there, or while we're there, we're seeing the results of that. Tristan never imagined enrolling in college, much less on scholarship, but it's crossroads that paved the way. We feel really passionate about this project. CEO Lisa Stetter says this new campus expanding into Buchanan Street offers at least 40 young people just like Tristan with housing, jobs, and job skills. We know there's a need for the housing. We know there's a need for the jobs and job training. 2021 is a year that we're trying to make a big difference. Affordable housing was always on the top of the list for Mayor John Cooper, with a plan to triple Metro's investment to $37.5 million. Council already agreed last month to spend nearly $10 million on the Barnes Fund, which benefits these types of projects. We're recognizing our past and making our future better. Metro's recent study showed the city creates or preserves about 1,300 affordable homes each year. Mayor Cooper says to avoid a shortage in 10 years, they need to increase production by more than 5,000 a year. So we're just hoping to be another part of a solution. Since the Barnes Fund was created in 2013, they built more than 2,500 housing units and continue to this day. The cost to build may be much higher in the pandemic, and most projects take years to open their doors. Yet some say it's a price worth paying for a future in the right direction. Reporting, Levi Ismail, News Channel 5. Mayor Cooper's latest multi-million dollar affordable housing spending plan will still have to be approved by the council at the end of June. It will also include $3 million to encourage business developers to build affordable housing and get tax breaks in return.